Hello, I'm back at the YouTubes. More recently, I've been able to leave my office job to do this full time. So thank you, um, especially to my Patreon supporters. Also, my camera broke and this is a new one. So if you hear any, it's because I haven't figured out how to turn the autofocus off yet. Oh my God, the autofocus was one button this whole time. I made this flower wall a year ago and it's been popping up in a lot of my photos either in the background or as a backdrop itself, although that was not really the original intent. This was just kind of a convenient way of storing all my flowers so that they weren't squished into a big storage box that I'd then have to dig through to find that one last purple flower I needed at the very bottom because it's always at the very bottom. But I've gotten a lot of questions about it, like how to make it and what it's for. It's incredibly simple. All you need is a hoard of artificial flowers that you feel no shame over. I love them and they make me happy and I don't have a problem. Chicken wire that does not include chicken, much to Edgar's dismay. Either a few nails or a few strips of garden wire. And lastly, some sort of large frame, either a picture frame, the wooden frame from an old painting canvas, which is what I use. But really, as long as it's got at least three sides and is hollow in the middle. I'm not I'm not gonna rule your life and demand that it, it be a rectangle or square. You do you. Whatever shape you whatever shapes you're into. I'm into all sorts of shapes. No one should have given me a camera. And you'll need wire cutters, uh, as well as gloves. Gloves to cut the wires. With the wire cutters. The gloves can't cut the wire on their own. I do definitely recommend gloves though, because uh, chicken wire has a bad temper and will cut you given the chance. That's, that's how it keeps in the chickens, with threats of cutting and stabbing. Anyway, you'll want to measure the frame and then add a couple inches to each side and that's how much wire you'll cut out, unless it cuts you first. If you want to be extra safe, you can go back in with a hot glue gun and just kind of add a little bulb of hot glue around the exposed edge. Kind of like putting oven mitts on a serial killer. Because that's the thing we do. Once you've got the wire cut out and safety proof, you just wrap it around the frame and you can either attach it using additional wire or put nails into the frame and then use those to kind of loop the wire around. Make sure that it's pretty well stretched across so that it doesn't sag under a lot of weight and it's ready to hang up and put flowers in or whatever else you think might be pretty and distract you from your mortality. These flowers will never die. Another probably safer way of covering all the exposed edges is to line them up on the backside and sandwich them between either a matching frame, some cardboard, or some thick EVA foam. If you don't want to cut your flowers short or are just impulsive and are adding way more weight to this than you really should, you might need to add some um, something to attach it to the wall. I've hung mine up on the door so it's actually hooked to a coat rack and the bottom is held down by looping a piece of string all the way around. Tacky? Maybe. Useful for adding additional cat toys? Definitely. And that makes me a genius. That's really all there is to it. I know this was a little different from my previous videos, but let me know if you'd like to see more of a range of art projects like this in future content. I have a lot more videos planned, mostly about sewing and costuming and showing what a beautiful cat you are, that's right. Again, big thank you to everyone on Patreon. I'm really excited to get back to making videos again. It's like, is my job title now YouTuber? I never know how to end these.